Hello, and welcome to the eighth in my series that I call Proverbially Speaking, which are reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. If you like my series, please hit the like button, and please feel free to subscribe, if you have not, to our Northfield Church of Christ YouTube page, and you'll be notified about other content, such as our Sunday morning worship services and our Sunday morning Bible studies. So let me begin with a prayer before I get into my reflections. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and for the grace you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, well, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. And I'm going to be looking at one verse from Proverbs 11, verse 24, but I'm going to be looking at the same verse as it is translated in two different versions, the New American Standard Bible and the New International Version. So let me read the verses first and then explain to you what I see as some of the differences here. In the New American Standard Bible, the verse reads, there is one who scatters and yet increases all the more, and there is one who withholds what is justly due, and yet it results only in one. The New Inter International Version states the same verse as this, one person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. So as you can see here, the meaning in both is clearly the same. By giving one gets more, even more, where those who hold it back to themselves become even poorer. Now the New International uh, American Standard Version reads to me more like a riddle. It gets me to ponder it as a riddle. There is one who scatters and yet increases all, all the more. And so you think about it as a riddle, you think, how is this true? And if you truly follow God, you do understand the truth in that. Now, the NIV version emphasizes more of the contrast or the paradox of what's going on here. A paradox is something that seems to contradict itself, yet it holds true. One person gives freely, yet gains even more. So you see it, it easily shows that paradox. Also, the NASB brings to me the image of seeding. This is one of the difference, one who scatters, as in scattering seeds. Uh, and of course, if you hold the seeds to yourself, you're not going to bring in any anything fruitful for doing that. Uh, no abundance to that. So the NIV to me seems to emphasize more of this act of giving with a pure heart and the gains that we receive by giving to others. Uh, with the one who holds any kind of giving, even in kindness, there's a poverty of spirit to them. Also, the NIV has a more poetic feel to it in the way it's written. The, like I said, the NASB is more like a written like a riddle. So. As you can see, by even looking at the same verse in two different versions, you can see some differences that can give you more reflection and enlightening on the verse. So I hope this stimulated some thought in you, and uh, I hope next week that you'll come join me for another reflection. Thank you.